What's up guys, Curtis here from Master Darts, and today I'm bringing you a review of the Mission Komodo GX Darts. These are the M1 version, and Mission kindly sent me these in the 22 gram variant as well. Uh, before we get into the video, I'd like to thank Mission for sending me these darts to review. So if we quickly look on the Darts Corner website, as you can see, these are the Mission Komodo GX Darts in steel tip. Uh, in the M1 variant, the M2 variant is more of like a razor shark grip style. But I requested these ones because I prefer a sort of simple ring grip dart. And they actually have a micro ring grip in between. And they describe the color as rose gold. As you can see, it's like a rose gold and micro ring grip silver color. These darts come with some short mission grip block stems in black. And they also come with these really nicely designed uh, Mission Komodo flights which you can actually buy separately as well on the Mission website for I believe 72 PS set um, a really nice looking designed flight so if you like the look of the flight you can actually buy them individually you don't just have to buy these darts to receive one set of these flights you can buy them separately these darts are 90% tungsten and they come in 22, 24 and 26 grams so a really nice variation of weight as mentioned previously, these darts are in the 22 gram version and the 22 gram versions which I have are 50 millimeters long by 6.35 millimeters wide. So a pretty standard sort of shape barrel, nice and thin, uh, a nice length as well, nothing too short, nothing too long. So I think these barrels would suit a lot of different people. Getting into the looks of the barrels, as I mentioned previously again, these come in a rose gold color along with sort of the natural tungsten look where the micro ring grips have been cut out. Uh, the rose gold section at the top, the smooth section comes with the mission logo as you can see on the screen. And this is followed by a ring grip all the way down the barrel, which is also separated on the rings with the micro ring grip cuts, giving you a really nice grip. I would say this is a grip level of about a 6 or a 7 out of 10 when you're actually throwing the darts. For me personally, they are a bit too grippy for my liking, but they do feel very comfortable and very natural in the hand. They're not overly grippy, they don't feel sticky to your hand, uh, they're not hard to release at all. They're just really nice, easy to release, and they go in the board absolutely brilliantly. These are followed by a very short sort of bull-nosed type cut. The nose sort of comes straight off of a cut of a ring, so it's a very sort of sudden taper in terms of a bull nose almost sort of halfway between a James Wade style flat nose and a ball nose. And then at the end of the dart, we do have a silver point, which uh, is a bit unfortunate. It does match the design a little bit more, but I would prefer to see a black point in there so it sticks in the board a bit better. As we see more footage of the darts on the board, I would like to mention these darts retail for £42.95 on Darts Corner. Uh, so with postage, you're looking at about £44 or £45, uh, which is really solid for a sort of different looking barrel. These uh, You don't really see many barrels look like this. You do get micro ring grip barrels, but um, not in sort of a different coating with the rose gold, as you can see here. Uh, really unique looking barrel, which I really do like. These darts, when Mission launched these at the back end of last year, I do think these were the ones that sort of caught my eye the most and which is why I sort of requested them when Mission asked me if I'd like to review anything. Overall, a really solid dart. I would recommend these to people who perhaps use a ring grip dart already, but are maybe looking for a little bit more grip without wanting to change the grip style. Uh, as I said before, they feel really familiar in the hand, uh, but they do add that uh, extra grip that you perhaps want from a ring grip barrel. I personally use a ring grip barrel which is not too grippy at all and there are times sometimes where I wish I had a bit more grip and something like this would actually work really really well. Um, so if you're looking for that on a more permanent basis perhaps these are the darts for you. And yeah guys that's it for now. I hope you've enjoyed the review. It's a little bit shorter, a little bit more in depth in terms of the actual vis visuals of the dart and not so much about me and my personal opinions. I just want to give you guys sort of the information that I thought personally about the dart, but without going into too much detail because everyone thinks differently of every single set of darts. So I just want to provide you with the information to help you uh, make your own judgment on the darts themselves. Let me know what you thought of this style of review in the comments down below and also leave a like if you did enjoy it. And also subscribe if you would like to see more reviews like this more darts tips, reviews, and just in general, more darts content. Also, don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. The links to those are in the description down below. And for now, guys, 
I will see you next time. Goodbye.